a new week, out and about week 51, so second to last of the year. A bit short on this one, start on Monday with BHF week 58 day 115, tomorrow will be 116 with work program appointment and other than any Christmas travels, that's pretty much it for this week, there's no scam game until the 26th, so it'll be nice and quiet this one probably. Day 1 completed. Tomorrow, day two, Tuesday is always a two-parter. Tomorrow's no different. An early start tomorrow for the work programme appointment, which hopefully will go better than the last one. And then BHF completed, and basically, with the exception of any Christmas trips, that would be the week done by Tuesday. But we'll see what happens. Day two of the week. And if it sounds like I'm out of breath, I am. Tuesday is usually a fun pack day. And, well, today is not one that I expected. A work program appointment this morning, all well and good. Not as bad as I thought it would be because after missing a phone call yesterday for a potential job interview, we got a phone call at half eight this morning, which, after staying up overnight to watch Washington in the NFL, probably wasn't the best thing. So we've done the work programme this morning, all well and good, told them we've got an interview later today. Obviously because of that, there's no BHF today, but I went in, spent 10, 20 minutes there, I'd say. So that counts as BHF as a day for me, on the figures. And we're off to Liverpool this afternoon for a job interview. So our ball continues, we are here in Ormskirk for the trip to, well, to Liverpool for the job interview. In terms of out and about, I think this may be a few, a few firsts this afternoon. I don't think I ever did an out and about from Ormskirk on the train. I don't know, I'd have to go through the archives for that, but just off down to the train station for the trip to Moorfield. So, the final leg, we are actually in Liverpool now. Just arrived at Moorfield station, last thing to do, get to this interview. Well, it's just gone 6 o'clock, and that completes probably one of the most unexpected out-and-about days I've ever had. To get a phone call at half eight in the morning, when you've stayed up all night watching stuff and doing job search. To then go to Liverpool, quarter past four, to be told, ooh, we want you to come back tomorrow for a second interview. Quarter to nine in the morning, for the entire day. So out-and-about will be extended this week, back in Liverpool tomorrow. Well, after the number first yesterday, first train journey on out and about, as far as I could tell. Not a chance to go back through the history yet. On another first, this is probably the earliest out and about video on a new day ever. Ten past seven, because obviously we're back in Liverpool for the entire day, apparently. 8.45 till six. <coughs> for a second round interview, after going through last night, though, it doesn't look like it's a full-time job. It looks more like it's self-employed on commission, which is something at the moment I can't do because I wouldn't be able to afford to support myself. So we'll just go ahead, you know, interviews and interview. If it is a full job, hopefully we get it. If not, then it's not turning it down, but I can't be self-employed at the moment. I haven't got the funds to do it, but we'll see what happens. Shortest day of the year, apparently, 21st of December. Let's see. Oh, we arrived in Ormskirk, next leg of the journey. Off to Liverpool. Final leg complete, here we are in Liverpool. Let's hope for a long, enjoyable day. Finishes a little earlier than expected. The interview consisted of meeting the management director again, doing like a short meet and greet with a secondary manager who we were basically supposed to spend the day with till about two o'clock ish. We went to Prescott by train and obviously observed a couple of sales and they basically about, I think it was half 11, 12 o'clock, he said, do you think it's a job that you'd be suitable for? To be honest, standing there on the street, and the leaflets out, trying to get sales. No guaranteed wage, to be honest. The answer was no, so it was like a short phone call with the manager director, he said, you know, thanks for applying or whatever. Directed me to Prescott train station, and that's it. To be honest, it, it, as a company, it does look like sort of a start-up. I feel I'd be able to help them more, you know, social media wise, but what in Liverpool and one of the worst things about being in Liverpool for me today is that there's loads of places to visit and loads of places to explore, but I ain't got no money to do it. 
So it'll be basically a quick walk back to the train station and then back home really. One of those isn't it, the one chance you have to get to explore. But you've got no money. A few years ago I'd have come around and I'd have spent hundreds. But that's the day done anyway. Probably be a couple of clips when we get back to Ormskirk and that's about it. Obviously as the week's concerned, other than Christmas week. It's been a, it's supposed to be a quiet week this one anyway, so no job but a bit of an experience. Well after Tuesday and Wednesday spent in Liverpool, out and about resumes on Christmas Day. No white Christmas here though, but a win though. So short Christmas trip just up to me nan's up the road. I haven't seen her for a while so it was nice to see her and basically as far as Christmas trips that's it, we only ever do the one. There's, like I say, most of our family all meets at one place. So as far as out and about outside concerned, this week is finished.